Tom, it must be pretty exciting to be given a crack at St Kilda. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, I'm just excited to get things going. and It's been a week now and I'm still just as excited to crack into training and whatnot. So, yeah, it's an exciting time for me and an exciting time for the club. It must be pretty exciting to see someone like Lenny Hayes go about it inside there after all he's been through. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, the senior boys got back yesterday and it's already, you can tell, a significant improvement around the club, in um, in the gym and out in the track, and um, Lenny's a big part of that. Cool. Uh, it's Tom. <laughs> a second Tom. Um, mate, it's just really exciting, obviously, to, to be given the opportunity. Uh, yeah, it's really excited. I'm sort of pumped to be a Saint. Um, was, yeah, really, really happy with my time at Gold Coast, and I can't thank him more more than anything but, for the opportunity, but yeah, so to be a sign. I guess that's the big question for you. Why were you so desperate to, to come back to Melbourne? Uh, look, there's nothing to do with the, uh, the club at all. I've got no bad words to say about They uh, sort of gave me the opportunity to play AFL footy. I just had a few personal reasons down here, and I felt as though I may have a, a little bit more opportunity as well. Could you call it homesickness? Was, was that what it was? Um, I'm not from Melbourne originally, okay. so I'm a Brisbane boy. Um, but no, I just had a few, a few personal reasons down here, so I was just sort of happy to Happy to get down here and um, sort of have a, a nice life. pretty exciting to work with someone like Ben McAvoy. Yeah, yeah. I um, actually remember copying a bit of a spray in round two after he sort of schooled me a bit. So it's really good to um, sort of get out there and, and sort of teach each other our, our little tricks of the trade. And um, it's really good to have another ruckman out there. Have you, you met him here yet or is he back yet? Yeah, yeah, he's oh, back. Um, it's me, him and Reece Stanley that do our weights together and we do a little bit of ruck work together and stuff. So no, it's really good. So he didn't bring the round two incident up with you, did he? And just, uh... Uh, no, I actually brought it up with oh, him. I thought I'd get it out of the way. I brought that up and Jason Black got his first votes against me as well. So I thought, <laughs> get it all out there. And what, what, did, they, um, did they have a bit of a laugh about it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. All, all a bit of cheeky banter. I think it's what footy clubs are built on, so I love it. Very good. All right, Trent. Sorry, you probably have more opportunities than you did. The Swans obviously would have been a pretty tough team to break into over the past couple of years. Yeah, obviously, like um, any team that wins a wins a flag, they usually don't have many injuries and uh, don't play that many players. But um, I was lucky enough to play, I think, eight games last year. And uh, yeah, just at the end of the year, the opportunity sort of arose that I could um, come back and work with uh, Scott Waters again. And uh, yeah, my manager got all that organised, and I yeah just. Couldn't, um, couldn't pass up that, this opportunity. What sort of happened up there? Because you remember that final against Carlton, you, you played so well. It was basically mainly just physical, the problems, and then you couldn't get back in, or what sort of happened up there? Um, yeah, so the following year, a couple of times I was um, picked pick to play and uh, had some, yeah, just minor niggling injuries that happened on the last training session, which was unfortunate. Like, rolled my ankle, hurt my foot a couple of times, uh, which put me out for, the, you know, like one to two weeks. They weren't major injuries, but uh, just... Um, yeah, purely bad timing. So obviously, very keen to get a lot more game time down here in St. Scholars. Yeah, hopefully. Um, not going to not going to put any expectations on myself, but uh, uh, that's what I'll be working hard to achieve over the next uh, few months till um, you know NAB Cup and hopefully round one. Have you got any that sort of your mentor down here? Have you linked up with anyone yet? Um, not yet. I pretty much just started training yesterday. They gave me a little bit of time off last week because. Um, train right through to the grand final, obviously being an emergency, so uh, didn't get as much break as the rest of the boys have had, so they've just been, they eased me back in last week and um, had a crack uh, fully yesterday, so uh, yeah, I'll probably latch onto someone by the end of this week. Would you say being an emergency sort of fuels that desire now to actually make the team and win the flag? More? Yeah, definitely, it's um, uh, definitely a bit of bittersweet type sort of feeling, like obviously I was mates with everyone up in Sydney and you'd absolutely rap for the boys, but then you know, very, very envious as well. And your recollection of working with Scott, was he pretty crucial in your development earlier on in your career? Or was he back yeah, I think so. Um, he, he backed me in over in the Waffle and uh, um, I think I had my breakout season over there under him and uh, that ended up getting me on an AFL list. So, um, yeah, I think uh, definitely exciting to be back under him and uh, hopefully we can um, keep moving forward. Is there also an element that, and I was asking Scott about this, is that Sydney, you know, we all knew what your role was, but here, sort of this, you know, because there are so many speedy small forwards like you down here, that you might be doing something different, or that, you know, there's a bit of development there, do you, do you think there's a bit of that as well? Yeah, I think so, I think um, Scott will definitely try to push the envelope with me, see what, I'm, see what I can do, maybe, I don't know, push further up the ground onto like a wing, or... Yeah, I'm not, not exactly sure. As I said, I've only been here sort of, sort of a week and still trying to find my feet. But I'm um, sure that that picture will come clear to me, um, you know, over over the next few weeks and uh, yeah, leading into uh, 
post-Christmas training as well. Very good. Well, thanks, thanks boys.